Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to Rachel Knits Things. This is episode eight, and my name is Rachel. I'm a knitter and crocheter from southeastern Michigan, where I live with my husband and four cats. Um, <laughs> this is a, gonna be a wild episode. This has been a crazy week for me. We had people finishing our roof replacement and we had a window replaced. Um, <laughs> so we had this crazy storm blow through last summer, damaged two windows and uh, our roof pretty badly. So we finally had those replaced after months of fighting with insurance. Um, yeah, so if you see, uh, if I move and you see a mess behind me in that room, that's where the window was replaced. We have a window seat where that window is that was replaced and it's still there because we, we haven't put it back yet because we had to like let the stuff dry for at least 24 hours and then we just, we didn't do it. Oh well. Um, <laughs> but Yes, yeah, so this is a space for me to talk about my knitting, crocheting, a little bit about my life sometimes, like I just did, and um, where I can show you what I'm working on, talk to you about my goals that I'm setting for myself every month, and see what we can actually get accomplished of those goals. Now, like I said, this has been a crazy week, but... We're going to jump into finished objects, um, and I've set them up all nice and pretty because I got this delivered. I talked about this in the last episode. I got this yarn was delivered on Tuesday, I want to say, when they were installing the windows and everything and finishing up my roof, and, um... Yeah, it, uh, I did this in, these in two days. I did three of them the day that the yarn was delivered, and I did two other ones. One I gave to my grandma. She loves Peeps. It's like her favorite Easter candy. Um, <laughs> and it was her birthday yesterday. So I gave one away. Uh, so, yeah, it was a wild, like, 24 hours. So, this yarn is the Parve Chunky, and the green is the color Key Lime. Then there is Seaside, which is the blue. Sunshine, which is the yellow. Pink Lemonade, which is the pink one. And then there is this purple one as well. Oh, do not snag which is Dusty Mauve. I put them in this basket just for this purpose. Um, this is an Easter basket that I bought a couple of years ago that looks like an Easter basket, but it also just looks like a cute little basket. So I bought it for the purpose of like picnics and I also use it as a bread basket um, that fell. Or if we're like, we have a little campfire in our backyard or something uh, and I use this to bring out like s'mores or hot dogs or whatever we're gonna have around our little campfire um <laughs> so yes these are so cute uh they take me it took me between an hour and a half and two hours for all of them most of them were closer to an hour and a half the purple one this purple yarn this batch of this yarn must be defective or something because it would not stop breaking. It was crazy. I could not. So you start from the ears and you do a magic ring. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can look it up. It's, you know, it's all over YouTube everywhere. You can find a tutorial so that you see. And so you pull it to close the ring and it would just break. It just kept breaking. I had to start both ears multiple times for the purple one. The other ones, I had, I would get a little snag once in a while. I did eventually when I got to, I think the green one was the, the green one was the last one that I did. Yeah. 
by the time I got to the green one I figured out the trick to where to grab it um and so this guy he's like perfect his eyes aren't lopsided he's stuffed pretty well uh this was the first one I did you can tell it, he's not quite stuffed enough but it's okay that's fine and they're also a little bit different in size just from all of that but um yeah I made all of these like I said they each took me between an hour and a half and an hour and 45 minutes the pink one is probably the most accurate or the green one honestly but this one I did without stopping I sat down I started my timer I started it and I did this all without stopping in an hour and 35 minutes so I wasn't working I was sitting there was like my husband had a movie playing in the background or something and I was kind of paying attention to it kind of not and I did that super fast um I'd already no the yeah I'd already made these two I started these finished the heads and then had to stop to go out and purchase the safety eyes for them um i put in thinking i was being so super smart uh i put in an online order in-store pickup online order for joann's to pick up these eyes and i thought they were just going to be the regular black safety eyes like what is on them I picked them up, I got in my car, I drove off, I didn't look at them, and then I got to a stoplight and I was like, I just want to take a look. They were realistic, brown eyes with black pupils, and like, as you can see, you make the little mouth and everything too. Oh, this one's so lopsided, it's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, that caught me off guard, he looks real funny on camera. Um, yeah, they, I... I don't know it was they were creepy and I'm like that would be horrifying uh so instead of going back to that Joann's because nothing online indicated that those were anything that what I ordered was anything but the all black ones it was really weird so I was like they must be out of stock on those and just gave me different ones in the right size so I went to another Joann's I drove uh back to my house past my house to another Joann's about 15 minutes from me. Luckily they were still open. This one has like weird hours. Um, and it's like a really small Joann's. I was so glad that they had them and they had them in the right size for what I needed. And I got them, I came home, boom, done. Yeah, and you can see the difference in like the eye. No, this one still looks lopsided, what in the world? I was like 99% sure this guy was perfect. <laughs> That's so rude of them. They like settled and they're all like lopsided. I'm gonna post a picture that I took right after I finished them all. Some of them, the eyes look a little lopsided, but that green one and the purple one were perfect. Let me tell you, they were not lopsided at all. I swear, I'm not making this up. <laughs> I might be making this up. All right, I have one other finished object. Um, this is the Thea top. I said I was gonna finish it this week. I finished the second armband. It's all cast off. I need to weave in ends and then I'm, I'm not gonna block this. It's fine the way that it is. I haven't tried it on yet. Um, I may have a photo of me wearing it for next week. Um, but I'm gonna be too lazy to do this and I have a lot of other stuff that needs to be blocked. So, um, yeah. I did also finish that red and white striped rib hat, ribbed hat that I was making for my husband's grandpa. I put it in the wall, I washed it in the sink and then I popped it in the dryer because it's super washed and you are supposed to dry it. It grew a ton. I mean a ton it looked like it it would have been a fit for a giant like it looked like the hat belonged to Hagrid from Harry Potter you know it was that big 
So popped it in the dryer and I guess at the top I didn't tie a knot like an idiot and it unraveled. It was an absolute disaster. I wasn't gonna fix it. I threw it away. Uh, that was painful. Oh well, it's not all right, but <laughs> we're getting over it. Um, the muscle bra that I made for my brother-in-law turned out beautifully. It was perfect. He likes it. He's happy with it, or so he says. I don't know. I didn't end up getting to go to dinner with them um, because I forgot I had a therapy appointment. <laughs> so those are those are my finished objects. I've blocked a couple of things and now let's move on to my works in progress. Um, we have a goal, our month, a monthly goal that has been met. I've got my marina bag here. I normally just pick them up from the bag on the ground. We're not doing that today. Here's my honey cardigan. Um, and here's the back panel that I had been, hang on. Hang on. I always have so much trouble with this. Okay, this is the right side, the tail's on the right. I need to like label this thing. <laughs> Here's the finished back panel of the honey cardigan. Here is where we left off. So I was so close. That is my cat Mew. She is ancient. Um, also, if you hear weird cat noises, I don't notice them. Uh, when I'm watching this back, I normally notice them, like, as I'm, like, editing and, like, doing a playthrough of it. I do normally notice the cat sounds in the background, and sometimes I'll put little comments on it. Uh, my cat, Onion, who has been featured on here, she hurt her eye somehow. Oh, they're fighting. The girls are fighting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um she hurt her eye somehow or she has an eye infection we're not really entirely sure she's been walking around with her eye closed shut it's been like waterfall pouring water i've been having to give her little like antibiotic ointment in her eye she's very mad at me and she's being very dramatic about it so neil you better be eating your own food sorry hang on okay she's just drinking water she she likes to eat the other cat's food and she has kidney disease so she really can't do that um <laughs> so yes finish the back panel of the honey cardigan which was my goal for this month i'm slipping the progress keeper off of this section and going to pop it onto this one i finished the base ribbing wait this is the right side. Finished the base ribbing and I um, started on the half fisherman's and this is as far as we've made it. This is like, it's probably gonna grow quite a bit. I don't know, maybe not. I'm definitely gaslighting myself right now. <laughs> not thinking it's gonna fit me. Um, if not, I'll give it to someone else. That's fine, it's all fine. Cause this color is definitely going to look terrible on me and if it does, and it doesn't fit, I'll give it to someone else. And if it does fit, then I am going to figure out how to dye this darker because this color is not for me. I love pastels so much, I can't wear them. It's a sad, sad thing. So, honey cardigan, drops melody size four, and this week, I worked on this for five hours and 40 minutes. And now moving on to the absolute disaster that I had this week. And that is with the Grandma Core hood. So I have finished the knitting for the base of the hood. I just now have to pick up for the um, drawstring tunnel. Mew, are you kidding me? And um, do that and do the I cord. Here's where I left off last week. 
there's where I got to. I worked on this for five hours and 30 minutes this uh, last week and it, uh, I ran out of yarn. I lost a game of yarn chicken. I was pretty sure that that was going to happen. Uh, but Saturday night, <laughs> okay, <laughs> arthritis pain relief, and a cat mug. my husband he just got home I guess he was ignoring me talking to myself <laughs> so I was playing a game of yarn chicken I lost and that was on Saturday night after I recorded the last episode um and then hang on I'm sorry all right I have returned she was then eating the other cat's food and needed to be escorted to her own food dish. <laughs> uh, whether that'll work or not, we don't know. So, um, I was playing a game of yarn chicken. I lost Sunday. I got up, I got dressed, and I got in my car to drive the like 38 minutes to the, um, to the yarn shop where I got this from and then I typed it into Google Maps and it was like closed and I was like oh great I, I could have sworn it was open on Sunday I could swear that I have been to that shop on a Sunday because uh, it's in a very touristy town and it is also a boutique so it's like a boutique that sells yarn in the back strange okay so yesterday I got my butt up, I got dressed, I drove up to where this shop is, and I got a second ball of this. This gave me so much problems winding it. It was like, the the hank was like tangled. It was like tangling around itself and I, I about lost my mind. It was terrible. So, yeah, that was a fun experience. And then I picked up where I left off. I joined the new ball with that. I only wound this one into one. I'll have to wind it again when I'm done um, because it will need to, uh, it'll need to be repurposed once, once I'm finished. I'll find something else to do with what's left. <sighs> It was something. It was something. Let me tell you. I, uh, yeah. Like, that, it was so stressful trying to wind that. I about had a full-on mental breakdown. Um, because even then when I was, like, doing the second wind, which I always do, you can see here, it, like, started winding down at the bottom really weird. So it had, like, two separate areas where it was winding going at one point and I was just I was over it I wasn't gonna wind it a third time I was done so yep uh so this got an five hours and 30 minutes of work and that was just last Saturday and last night I'm recording this on Sunday I can't make that trip up during the week they close at like 5 30 or 6 on weekdays and that would be when I would be able to get there after work so yeah that was stressful um now the next whip let's see what did I actually work on is we'll go for the muscle bra which I worked on for about four and a half hours. I got to the end of the little ball that I'd been working and I need to join it with the next one and I've just been too lazy to do so. And like I said before, this is not my top priority right during at this very moment. Um, so 
there is where I left off. That is where I knit to. We got a good, a uh, good bit of work in on this. So, yep, about almost exactly four hours. I think it was like three hours and 59 minutes or something. So I just put four hours of knitting on this. Um, and yeah, we're, we're a little over it right at this very moment, just with that grandma core hood and the disaster that it was. Um, so I've moved my stitch marker up and let's go on to, I've got two left. I'm gonna take a drink of coffee because I am tired. Made an iced one today. Uh, we're out of espresso beans. All right. The Sporty Knit Squirt. Did not get a whole lot of work done this week. Like I said, I got distracted by other things and I was trying to keep complete some of my goals. I've got two left still, which will have to be done this week because we are at the end of the month. Um, it is going to be ending this week. I don't know what's happening right now. Sorry. Okay. I think she was trying to get up somewhere and couldn't. Um, I only worked on this for about an, uh, 40 minutes and that's where I was. So not a whole lot got done on this because it was not a goal for this month. So it wasn't super important. I knew that I would not be able to get this and a panel on the honey cardigan done. So it wasn't, I wasn't going to do both as goals. Moving the stitch marker to where we've left off. And then we'll keep it going and see where we get to this week. I think I'm going to make the shorts a goal for this uh, next month to get the shorts on this done. And then we'll go from there. So, I did not start the blanket. I think instead of a stockinette stitch, I'm going to do a garter stitch one. So it kind of has some texture to it and it'll just be easy to rip back and forth on it and get it done rather quickly. They don't take very long. They ended up on like 25 millimeter needles. But I guess my mom's was like falling apart. I don't know how my brother's held up. I'll have to ask him. My youngest brother's seems to be fine but he also seems to be like hoarding it like a little gremlin in his room and he takes my mom's <laughs> and like the dogs get at it I guess like it sprouted a hole and he likes to stick his foot through it or something he's strange he's a 17 year old boy okay we don't know we don't question things um and then last one the DRK Everyday Socks. So I worked on these for an hour and 30-ish minutes um, and it brought me to about seven hours, just under seven hours total. Here is where I was last week, um, where I left off. So I got a few rows done, but not a whole lot. These are gonna be slow progress. That's fine. I put them around my little footsie last night. They do go on my feet and fit so far. So that is a good thing. Um, and we shall see how it continues to go and grow. Um, yeah, these have been a, a good little thing to work on. I have enjoyed working on it. I did try on the hood last night when I finished it and um it's soft I don't mind the mohair at all it does not bother me it doesn't bother my face this was something I was really worried about because I do have very very sensitive skin like I have always had sensitive skin I've always had eczema I have seborrheic dermatitis which is like a super 
sensitive eczema to the face and scalp I have to use all fragrance free products on my like hair can, hair care scalp care my shampoo conditioner like all the products I use have to be fragrance free um, or else I just it's itchy it's flaky it's a mess it's terrible um, zero out of ten would not recommend that <laughs> bad experience to anyone but um, I've been worried about mohair and how my skin will react to it I personally have been it's been a delight to work with like while knitting um, it feels nice on my hands I really enjoy it and I don't know if it's just the quality of the yarn that I chose or what it is about it but I've been really enjoying it and I know some people complain and they're like mohair is so itchy this that the other thing I don't know yet if I will use it for the salty days sweater that I'm going that I'm planning to knit or if I will just purchase a if I will just purchase I don't know what just came out of my mouth but I don't think it was the word purchase uh, a worsted weight yarn to work that in maybe um, because I cannot get gauge with the like a more true worsted weight they claim that the uh, knitting for olive head heavy merino is a worsted weight it's not there's no way I I could not get gauge with it I don't know if I would have to go up several needle sizes or what but yes this I feel it's so soft to me I don't understand it but yep there is that I don't know why I'm holding it up again you've already seen it um, <laughs> I tried it on last night like I said it felt nice I'm gonna work and get that little uh, tunnel and the eye cord done this week and it'll be perfect so I'm gonna go and get to work on all of these other things and I will see you next week bye I just realized that I did not say my total time spent knitting and crocheting this week um, and my total time was 28 hours and 48 minutes. Uh, that is a, a lot of time messing with yarn. I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to say knit, knitting and crocheting. <laughs> okay, bye! <laughs>